everyone, welcome to another video. So, I just thought I'd make a video to make a few corrections, because you know me, I like to get things right. Uh, I made a video about this place, Gippy the Goat, this family-run cafe that's been getting harassed by vegan activists. They've had to shut their doors, you know, the boo-hoo story of the poor, innocent cafe owners. And then upon further investigation, we found out this guy, John Gomans, is actually multi-million dollar... Dairy investor, Goats Dairy, one of the biggest goats dairy producers in Australia. So he owns this big goat milk company called Seabus Goats Australia. With the, uh, the company has about 10,000 goats, apparently. I put some leaked footage in the video, and I said, this footage was taken by activists, and the farm is owned by Gippy the Goat. The, owner, the owners of Gippy the Goat Cafe. I was saying in the video, oh, it's out the back, the farm's out the back. Goat dairy operation out the back. And apparently they don't let anyone out the back, but some activists went out the back and found some pretty horrific stuff. Take a look at this. There is a farm out the back, but the footage wasn't specifically taken from the farm out the back. The footage was taken from a neighboring farm that is owned <laughs> by John Gomans as well. So, okay, yeah, technically the footage wasn't taken from out the back of Gippy Cafe, Gippy Goat Cafe, but it was taken at a farm that John Gomans owns down the road. Oh, big mistake, wasn't it? Big mistake. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, you know, it wasn't at Gippy the Goat Cafe, the actual, you know, footage that we've seen. It was down the road, still owned by John Gomans. He owns many goat dairies, but also I wanted to make, I wanted to give John Gomans a little bit of credit. Because he doesn't just do goat's dairy. And I was saying in the, in the video, why don't you invest in vegan milk? Why don't you invest in vegan milk? So through his company, New Lack Foods, New Lack Foods, he has released a vegan yogurt, vegan coconut yogurt. Well done. Well done. That's what I want to see more of. More of the vegan yogurts. Uh, less of the exploitation and harm of the goats. The baby boys are bludgeoned to death with a spiked hammer. That is true too. Um, I've seen pictures of the hammers they use. Quite horrific. Another correction I want to make from the video is there was a guy who was holding a baby who the guy was actually threatening to kidnap and kill another activist, Joanne. Left it on the public page. This is not me even snitching on the guy. The guy snitching on himself, putting his big post up saying he's going to kidnap Joanne, take her out bush, and you know what happens when someone takes uh, someone else out bush, they don't come back. I said he was, he had a picture of his baby or something and he's gone, oh, I'm missing you little man. It wasn't because his baby was, was passed away like I had said. The baby had actually been removed from his custody. Now that kind of makes sense if you're sending death threats like that to female activists. I don't know what goes on in your personal life, not for me to say, but it's probably a reason why your baby's been taken off you. Um, anyways, not good sending death threats to anyone. This is not how we want to play the game. Uh, the lameness that you saw from the goats in the Goman's goat farms, that's uh, from a disease called, it's called K or something. C-A-E stands for Caprine Arthritis Encephalitis, if I even pronounce that properly. Contagious viral disease of goats. The disease is typically spread from mother to kid through ingestion of colostrum or milk. So that's where they got their lameness from. Gippy Goat Cafe have put three privacy complaints on my video so far. Three. Three privacy complaints. So they're trying to get these videos removed. They, are, they want the videos down. They can't get them removed. Everything I've put in the videos is publicly accessible information. Yeah, the footage from leaked that I'll leave the leaked website down here. It wasn't from the actual farm at Gippy the Goat, but it was just from a neighboring farm that John Gomans owns and he also owns the cafe. I mean, come on, mate. Come on, mate, that wasn't a very big mistake. But you can see why these people, they want these this video down. John Gomans connected to Kerry Stokes. Kerry Stokes has shares in John Gomans' $226 million Bubs Australia uh, powdered milk formula company. What they're doing is they're, they're fueling this public outrage through news media. You know, oh, poor Gippy Goat. We need tougher laws on activists. You know, and from Kerry, Kerry Stokes' news media outlet. And then they're using that public outrage to bring in new laws um, because they don't want activists exposing what goes on in these farms. You know, look at some of these death threats these guys are getting, these activists. I hope you, I hope the next farmer you harass puts a bullet in you, you stupid ignorant C. You need to get a baseball bat team together. Seriously, F you, I hope you get cervical cancer and die slowly. You never deserve children. Children are due so much better than you, you C. Kill yourself. Uh, you need a bullet to Annabelle. Crazy, crazy. Um, sending full-on death threats to female activists. What is up with this, mate? Full-grown men sending death threats to female activists. Come on, mate. Don't you have any, like, 
common decency? What What's going on here? So basically, the footage is from jo John Goman's farms. He owns many farms, neighboring farms surrounding Gippy the Goat. He, he they, they, they might even supply Gippy the Goat Cafe. Um, they probably do supply Gippy the Goat Cafe, these horrible farms. But anyway, they're feeding in this infant formula made by the Gippy the Goat goat's milk to, <laughs> to children. Really crazy. Really crazy. And they're trying to get the videos removed. They're actively trying to get these videos removed. So watch them, share them. They obviously don't want this information getting out there. They're abusing animals and they're trying to silence people who are exposing that fact. So they're not the victims here like the newspapers try to make out. They're actually the perpetrators in this. They pretend to be a family-owned farm. They're really multi-million dollar um, dairy investors. And it's time that, you know, we expose these people for their unethical business practices and encourage them to make more ethical business decisions like the coconut yogurt John Gomans is investing in. We'll support that. I'll buy that. I'll eat the living hell out of your coconut yogurt, but I don't want the products of animal exploitation, mate. Keep that aside. Activists are going to keep exposing this if you continue with all of this horrific animal abuse. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Now let's just look at how meat industry funded Channel 7 um, reported on the activist here. Oh, here they are. Here they hit the activist rescuing a goat. Now they didn't just jump and steal a goat for no reason. There was definitely just cause to, to rescue those goats. They weren't under good care.